Just like other word problems, we can solve dividing decimals in word problems by using the read, solve, and check strategy. Our question says, Peppa and Walt were racing another two-person swim team at a competition. Their time was 312.5 seconds. If they both took the same amount of time to swim, how long did they each swim for? Estimate, solve, and then check your answer. Looking at our question, we see that the important numbers are 312.5 seconds, which is the total amount of time they swam for, and we need to consider if they both swam for the same amount of time, which would be two. The words how long did they each swim for tell us that we need to divide the total amount of time by two, which is the number of people who swam to solve the problem. Now that we have read our question and found the important information, we can make an estimation. We'll put our estimate over here to refer to later. Let's start by rounding the time to a friendly number so it's easier to work with. 312.5 can be rounded to 310 to make it easier to work with, and then we know that we are dividing by two since there are two people on the swim team. 310 divided by two equals 155. This means we are estimating that Peppa and Walt each swam for about 155 seconds. Now it's time to solve. We can start by setting up our long division formula first, then we will go through the steps. We know that we have a two here, and under our long division symbol, we will put 312.5, since that was the total amount of time it took Peppa and Walt to swim. Over here, let's write our steps to recall them. Our first step in long division is to divide. Our second step is to multiply. Our third step is to subtract. And our fourth step is to bring down. Now that we have our steps and our long division equation set up, we can divide as normal as if this wasn't a decimal. But don't forget to keep the decimal throughout our solution. Looking at our first value here, we have a three. Three divides by two one time evenly, so we can put a one up here. Now we have to multiply. Two multiplied by one gives us two. We can subtract. Three subtract two equals one. And now we need to bring down our next value, which is a one as well. Now we have an 11 here. 11 divides by two five times evenly. So we add a five to the top of our line. Two multiplied by five equals 10. 11 subtract 10 equals one. And we bring down our next number. Now we have 12. 12 divided by two is six, which is an even amount. Two multiplied by six gives us 12. We subtract 12 subtract 12 equals zero. Now we're at the decimal, but we don't need to bring it down here. We need to carry it above our line in the same place. We can bring down the five as our new number to work with. Five divided by two goes in two times evenly. So two multiplied by two gives us four. Five subtract four equals one. Now we see that we have a remainder of one down here, but we don't want to leave this question with a remainder. Let's try adding a zero to our dividend and keep dividing. Remember, if we add a zero at the end here, this doesn't change the value of our decimal number, it only changes the size of parts in the whole. Now we can bring the zero down to work with. This gives us 10. 10 divided by two is five. Five multiplied by two gives us 10, and we have 10 subtract 10, which is zero. Now we have no remainder, and we have a complete new answer at the top. The answer is 156.25. Now let's check by comparing our answer to the estimate we did in the beginning. Our estimate was 155, and the actual answer we got was 156.25. These two values are pretty close, so we can assume that our answer is correct. After checking, we need to write a therefore statement to complete our question. Therefore, Peppa and Walt each swam 
for 156.25 seconds during the race. That's how we can divide decimals in word problems.